All right, guys, today we're going to be going over my athletic or kind of fitness related everyday carry. Now, some of this stuff does vary, but for the most part, this is pretty much what I carry when I do things like running and things. And so obviously not every exercise is the most applicable to have all of these things. But for the most part, this is pretty compact, pretty slim and trim. And so, yeah. So without any further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. So the first off is... So the first thing we'll talk about are the knives. So for me, there's really just a couple knives that I will carry if I am going to carry a knife. Usually I do try to, but the first one is going to be a Paramilitary 2. And this is, of course, a Spyderco. This is, of course, my uh, limited edition cutler shop version. But the reason why I like the Paramilitary 2 so much is because it is very slim. And it's not the lightest knife in my collection, but it really is a very slim, very trim knife and overall pretty comfortable comfortable to use and it can definitely take a little bit of a beating if it was pushed into it or really needed to do that. So the next one up and my usual go-to for like running and doing anything like that is the Benchmade Bug Out 535. So this is definitely not my favorite knife. I've expressed that before in many other videos and I definitely think there are a lot of knives that are better in other aspects, but I will say specifically for working out for fitness, it is just impossible to find a knife that is as large as this or has as long of a blade length as the Bug Out for this weight this is a sub two ounce blade and it is just crazy that has an over three inch blade length but yet sub two ounces it is wild i think it's like 1.8 ounces so very hard to beat in that regard as far as weight goes and of course extremely thin extremely uh, slim so definitely not the most comfortable knife to use for a prolonged period of time but if you need to cut stuff really quick this is a very very hard blade to beat of course this is another exclusive this is a um, blade hq exclusive rocking that 20 CV steel. That's probably the one I recommend the most, um, but as far as it goes, the bug out is just incredibly hard. To beat. So then the next one that is kind of hard. Uh, so the next part is going to be firearms. And for me, this is my usual go-to fitness firearm. Now I have actually been just straight up EDCing this gun for a little bit, but as far as it goes, this is definitely like my workout related, my trail running handgun for sure. Now a lot of people may say, you know, aren't you worried about bears? Especially this time of year, not particularly. And on most of the trails that I run, I'm not as worried about wildlife because most of the trails that I'm running are around more civilized areas. So I'm not saying that I would never see a bear, that I would never see see a moose but I generally like 99% of the time would not see wildlife and or like large wildlife and so I'm not as concerned about having something to stop a bear this is more for you know human protection and so once again this is my running gun um, and so this is an FN 509C tactical which pull it out of the um, holster but this is what I go this is my go-to of course it's a 12 plus one and so overall a pretty compact handgun, pretty easy to rock, and I have a couple different holsters I use, but they're all Kydex, they're all appendix. This one is an A&R Designs um, appendix holster, and so just an overall good solid holster. I kind of like the uh, white camo. I feel like it fits for the winter time a little bit, so I've been carrying this one in this, but overall um, just an appendix Kydex holster is what I will usually run this in. So that's the handgun that I will run when I'm doing things like running, trail running, uh, exercising, stuff like that. So aside from that is the next thing, a flashlight. Now this is an, a Phoenix EC35, or let me double check that, E35. This is a Phoenix E35, and this guy's a little bit of a chunky flashlight. I know some people may say it's too thick. Sometimes I carry my LD30 as well because it's a little bit slimmer than this, but ultimately for especially doing things like trail running, um, once again, at this time of year, it is nice to have a flashlight that has, um, it's nice to have a flashlight that has a good output. This thing outputs up to 3000 lumens, and I don't really use it for that max output, but what it really means is that it has a good long duration Duration. So if I'm out too long and the sun starts to set and get dark, I have a good ability to have a nice strong flashlight that I can find my way out of wherever. Once again, too, most of the time I'm doing fitness related activities. I'm not going to be, you know, 50, 60, 70 miles out of town. It's going to be, you know, just a few miles out of 
town. Pretty close, pretty civilized stuff. So usually not too crazy. Okay, next one up on the list is going to be the tech. And so as far as it goes, of course, I have an Apple Watch and of course I have an Apple Watch and of course so next up is the tech. I have my phone, the Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max, and of course my Apple Series 5 watch. So those two um, are pretty related to you know fitness, especially the watch more than anything because it allows me to track my you know fitness and my activity level. So those two are pretty important for working out and just fitness in general for that reason. Of course, some next kind of arbitrary things. I will pretty much always carry my lighter for survival, especially if I'm outdoors. Sometimes I'll also throw a ferro rod on my body too, because they're also pretty handy. Then I have my Open Seas Leather Wallet. This one is actually the Top Sider Quick Draw, so it has my like IDs here in the back, and then just a standard um, Top Sider in the front. So pretty cool wallet. I actually really like this guy. I'll do more on that later though. And then of course, just have my truck keys. And I will say um, one thing I do really like about this setup is I have my truck keys on this black ember lanyard. So the cool thing about this lanyard is that it's kind of like magnetic. So I can separate this top piece really easily from um, the bottom. So I can like leave this attached to like a belt loop or something like that. And then I can just uh, move around my keys with this much smaller lanyard. So it makes it a little bit easier and convenient. And the coolest part about it is how easily it goes back together. Like it just literally clicks in and uh, it's solid. So really cool little lanyard, but ultimately um, just carries my truck keys. And yeah, because most of the time when I'm trail running, I am driving to the location and then parking and doing whatever run and coming back. So yeah, that is my uh, workout setup. It's not too overboard or too crazy. Once again, when I am specifically working out, I'm trying to keep my weight a little bit lower than like an average EDC. So I'm not usually running like a full on multi-tool or like multiple blades or stuff like that. It's usually pretty pared down, pretty slim. And uh, yeah, so that is my EDC uh, for running, trail running, workouts and stuff like that. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you liked that. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, God bless and I'm out.